What is up? This is your LA in a minute and it is hot. I thought summer's supposed to be coming to a close, but that's how it is here in Los Angeles where the warmest days of the year are in late September, even into October. I wondered why that is, so let's get into it. Look, I'm not a meteorologist. I did do a ton of research to put this together and to understand it myself, so hopefully it's in digestible enough format for you to understand as well. Feel free to watch two or three times or just let me know in the comments that I didn't do a good enough job, but let's jump into this. Across the majority of the United States, the most oppressive heat occurs on average from mid-July to early August. Now, even though the sun is closest to the earth on summer solstice and June 21st, the reason is that the daytime heat input exceeds the cooling at night and there is sort of an aggregating effect until the days cool off in late August to early September. That's normal. However, here in Los Angeles, some of the hottest weather is delayed and the highest temperatures have occurred in September and even October due to three factors. Number one, dissipation of the marine layer, which serves as a heat shield. Number two, the Santa Ana winds, which if you live in LA, you know they actually make things warmer, not cooler. And number three, something called downslope warming, which I'll get into. So in the summer in California, the West Coast is dominated by a Pacific high pressure system offshore and a thermal low pressure system onshore, which creates moist onshore winds that move down the coast and promote these marine layer clouds. As we move into late summer and the autumn, the pattern changes and there's less protected marine layer clouds and the temperatures begin to rise. This also marks the beginning of building high pressure in the inland Great Basin and is the root cause of the infamous Santa Ana winds where the cool marine layer is banished and coastal temperatures soar. But downslope warming may be the biggest factor. What is this? Well, as the air in the Great Basin descends towards the coast, it heats up and dries out and increases in temperature by five and a half degrees for every thousand feet that it descends. That produces some really high temperatures. Another important factor is that the overnight low temperatures plateau at their highest average from early August to late September, so LA's air is not able to cool off even at nighttime, which just aggregates the warm temperature, making it feel hotter and get hotter on a daily basis. Also super important is that sea surface temperatures off Southern California on average peak in late August and early September, which also contributes to heating up the air. In a sense, this California Mediterranean climate is somewhat of a myth, at least towards the end of the summer, and you can expect to see a few more days like this in the next couple months. In short, I'd tell you to stay cool, but with this scorching weather coming, it's probably not going to be possible. Make sure you drink a lot of water, use sunscreen, stay inside when you can, and be diligent about your air conditioning because we do not want those rolling blackouts. But either way, you at least know why it's going to be hot in September and into October. All right, LA, it's been a minute.